Hello dear viewers, I hope you are doing excellent. In my last video, we saw how we, how we can use the Phi model within VS Code via Olama as our GitHub Copilot alternative. It is not the best solution when it comes to speed and options. Phi 3 was really slow and it took some time to generate tokens. What if we want to use powerful models like uh, Llama 3? In this video, I want to introduce you to Grok. Now, there are two Groks. The first Grok is an AI model that answer um, user queries on the Twitter platform. The other Grok is a company developing chips that can process tokens 10 to 100x faster than current GPUs. Think of Grok as a competitor to Nvidia and AMD in the hardware space. The API of Grok is what we'll be using in the continue extension. But before I give you a walkthrough of how to configure it, let's first take a look at Grok's website. So head over to grok.com and sign in with your email account. Okay, so this is an interface where you can test uh, some messages uh, and verify what is the speed you are getting. So let's say I'll click on this pre-populated button and before that i can also select which model i want to choose so i'll select llama 70 billion parameter model with the context window of 8000 tokens so i'll click on what is generative ai and yeah it generates about uh, 300 tokens per second and if you just hover over it you would see what was the speed of the input and the output tokens the number of tokens that were generated and the inference time this was pretty quick now mind you uh, there is something called as queuing which happens on grok's website uh, a lot of users are sending multiple requests and the system is under some load when i was testing this grok um, app a um, couple of hours ago i had seen that the speed reached up to 800 tokens per second so you can reach uh, such higher um, um, uh, token generation okay and if i scroll down here i can also copy this content which is generated here i can scroll to the top and this nice feature if i click on it i can um, you know uh, try to change the tone uh, of the generated output and this part basically tells me what kind of output format you want okay so i'm happy with the output format i'll just make it a bit uh, friendlier tone okay so if i click on it i'll see a friendlier version of the generated output okay so that is about this interface now if you click on why grok you'd see uh, some blog post about uh, or, or let's let's call it faqs um, about um, this technology that grok uses uh, I would also recommend you to check out this particular question. Why is it so much faster than GPUs for LLMs and Gen AI, right? And apart from this, you also have something called as resources. So Grok frequently releases some or the other um, updates from their uh, business. So you can take a look at it. Now, the next part is about the Grok cloud okay this is the console from where you can uh, ask your questions just like you would ask to uh, gpt playground and you can also control these other parameters that are there you can you can see this is the list of models that are available from google they have gamma from meta uh, these are the models and mistral model is also there okay some models are offline okay thanks for the update right so you can play around here now, if you need any documentation, it is not on the main page of Grok, but it is under uh, the console.grok.com. So you can just take a look and read through the examples of um, Grok. Grok also provides um, a Python library. Uh, let's call it the Grok uh, package for Python. And they also have certain examples on how to use it. Okay. Apart from this, Grok also has integration with popular LLM frameworks such as Langchain and Llama Index. Okay. The next part is about the API keys. So this is where we could, this is the place where we can generate the API keys for our 
uh, github copilot you can click on create api key give it some easy to remember name and this key will get generated note that this will not be displayed again so copy it and save it somewhere safe okay do not expose it once this is done we will uh, add it to our configuration uh, on uh, on continue extension but uh, I'll, I'll do that uh, in just a couple of minutes the next part is about settings so just like openai's api you can have an organization and under that organization you can create uh, different org ids and under those org ids you can create your um, api and start playing with it as of creating this video uh, grok api is free in the beta state okay um, i think it will be in july when the company will release the pricing plans uh, the pricing plan is already there it's just that um, for now it is completely free you are not required to enter any credit card or you don't have to pay upfront for using the api of grok okay so there are different um, offerings and this page will get renewed in the future for sure let's talk about limits so you can send up to 30 requests for llama 3 70 billion model and in a day you can send up to 14400 requests the number of tokens that are allowed per minute is 6000 this may get revised when uh, the api undergoes some revision okay so that was about it if you go to wow.grok.com and slightly scroll down you would see this chart for uh, the pricing for llama 3 it will generate about 300 tokens per second and it will cost about 59 cents for input tokens and uh, 80 cents for the output uh, irrespective of how many tokens or what will be the pricing of this uh, i'm definitely going to be a paid customer of grok because i really love how fast the tokens are generated now if you use a different model like llama 3 8 billion it will generate um, higher number of tokens per second uh, you can again read some additional information which is provided here so that's all about uh, the grok company now let's get back to vs code and configure our continue extension so we have this configuration from our last video where i've been using the phi 3 model now i will um, make adjustments to the configuration file of continue and add the grok api and we will we are going to use the llama 3 uh, 70 billion uh, model so to configure continue extension you have to uh, click this settings button or the configure option so head over to uh, continue dev uh, account on github and scroll down here click on this first link and we are going to do the setup and for that we are going to select the providers so under providers we have to search for um, grok okay click here and you can copy this entire code snippet I'll explain to you one by one what we need and what we don't okay so I've copied it I'm heading back to VS code and I'll simply paste this okay so uh, we don't need models because models is already here so I'll get rid of this okay and also this so the title is the name that will appear in the uh, extension so what you see here so we will rename it to grok llama 370b okay uh, provider we are going to keep open ai model is something will be changing so head over to uh, the playground and you can click on the view code part and select the string now this is uh, 8b so i'll change it to 70b and okay so i'll paste the model name 
API base is also going to uh, change. So let's go back to the documentation. And in here, we should look for open AI compatibility and select this URL. Okay. So we'll replace this thing engine is not required api version is also not required api type is also not required so i'll simply remove them the last part is the api key so in the beginning of the video i've shown you how to create the api key so simply select or uh, copy paste your api key here okay that's it save so i have written some uh, instructions for which i want llama to create a write code for so i'll select this thing go to sample and maybe in this chat interface i'll simply paste those comment okay and submit so as you can see within a fraction of a second the code got generated okay and if i simply click here and then from this a button which will insert the code at the arrow okay so it has returned down everything that i asked for it so that's how um, that's how quick llama is so that was all about um, integrating grok and the continue extension so play around with this api play around with grok and you will be amazed at the ultra fast speed of uh, the grok api and it, it's up to you whether you want to go for the paid plan or not but i would highly recommend to enjoy this lightning fast speed and uh, enjoy this experience of you know seeing the generated code uh, with before you blink your eye so that's all from my side and uh, i hope this video was useful to you and i wish you a nice day thank you